What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OG T Man. And today we're back with another video from your boy Ray Hanko. Flat, flat, that making it hunting. I'm, I'm it's so fago. Damn, and damn, chill out. But um, yeah, my boy Ranko, make sure you go fuck out with his channel. We got JoJo CY touched herself on stage. I can already tell this shit is going to get me. But anyways, let's keep going with the video. You did. Ladies and gentlemen, I woke up feeling clean the other day. I woke up feeling... Let me, let me yeah, I woke up before. feeling fresh. So what okay. did I do? I walked downstairs and I immediately started cooking up some bacon. And once I finished and sat down to eat, I thought to myself, hey, you know what? I should open up TikTok to see what amazing content my For You page is going to deliver. Now, unfortunately for me, I was not delivered amazing content. And instead, I was delivered this. JoJo Siwa has lost her mind. So here's the backstory. So she performed this at the LA Pride Park Festival, which makes sense because, you know, she's gay and she has a song about being gay. It made sense for her to be picked, right? But apparently during this performance, people start seeing her getting drunk and touching herself on stage. No, ew. And people look up to you. Ew. Brother, ew. Sister, ew. That's nasty. You send a bad example. This is why I said the next generation is cooked. All oh, the shit they be seeing. The reason why people are even talking about this in the first place is because apparently she did this all in front of children. But really, we have no idea. So I did some more investigating. I looked up the event that she performed at, and it's an all-age event, but there's 18 plus zones. Quote, LA Pride in the Park is an all-ages event, but everyone over three years old must purchase a ticket to enter. It must be 21 plus where alcohol is served and 18 plus to enter erotic city. Proper ID is required. So it's all pretty confusing because of the zones we really don't know if she performed this in front of children or not but some people on twitter are just going with the narrative that she did perform in front of kids because most of jojo siwa's fans are kids but regardless of if they were kids or not jojo why can't you just do this at home why must you bring this on stage do you have no shame that's a legit question. Like, bro. The only reason why I'm talking about this in the first place is because she won't stop popping up on my For You page. Any information I've learned about JoJo CY has been forced upon me against my will. So I hope, uh, Rango, hey, I hope you keep that over there. I wish to not see JoJo Hell Nah on my For You page. Yep, that's what I'm calling her, JoJo Hell Nah. Not CY, Hell Nah. You guys are suffering with me. Ew, good morning to every single team in it. was this entire Apparently she was drinking water out of a Tito's bottle as well, an alcoholic beverage. I guess trying to make it look like she's a bad girl zipping alcohol. <laughs> Rebel. Is that a mic stand or like a mic accessory? What's the point of that stick being there? That's throwing me off. Now, when it comes to artists doing like suggestive, crazy, sus shit on stage, I'm not like necessarily against that. I'm not gonna be that Karen that's like, you need to leave. But um, in this case, it, it might be a you need to leave type of moment. God, bro, sorry, I'll stop playing that one. I know y'all probably do not want to see that anymore. Jojo Siwa also apparently is literally trying to tell people that she's changing music and creating waves in the industry with a new genre. That's right, a whole new genre in music founded by Miss Siwa, the CEO of gay pop. I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but... Someone's got to do it. They said it back in the day when I first signed with Columbia. I said, I wanted to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. And they were like, what's that? And I was like, it's like K-pop, right? But it's yeah. gay pop. First of all, it is not like K-pop. And second of all, this genre is already a thing with artists like Prince. Freddie Mercury, David Bowie, I mean, come on, bro. JoJo didn't really do anything revolutionary, and she was talking like this all while she bought the song Karma. Like, the lyrics and the melodies and everything about Karma is bought. JoJo didn't even really creatively contribute to the song, she just kind of bought it. And don't get me wrong, bro, there's nothing wrong with having writers help you write a song, but when you're out here taking credit for the start of a new revolution in music that you aren't even starting, and you're saying you're starting it with a song that you 
You didn't even write? Bruh. Is it true you didn't write your single Karma and you stole it from Miley Cyrus? <laughs> For context, chat, this is true. Hey, I love me. Love you, Miley. The concert here. <laughs> Get her, guys. This actually cracks me up. Um, I have no shame in answering this. I am so about to answer this. Okay. You sound a little bit funny. <laughs> okay. So I did not write karma. Okay. But the funniest thing to me is I have seen online, I swear I've seen the video of her saying she wrote it. There is a video I saw it. And now people are like, it must be a Mandela effect. Stop. And I'm like, I am a Mandela effect now. I am so honored. I've always wanted to be one of these. So people think that you said that you wrote it. Yeah. They can't find the receipt. Exactly. There's no, there's nothing out there of me being like, so when I wrote Karma, yeah. I was thinking this. I would never say that because I literally did not write it. But when I was pitched Karma yeah. and I heard it, I was like, wow, this this is a song for me. Was Miley a writer on it? Like, where did the Miley thing come in on this? Honestly, that one, I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea, but I love the theory. <laughs> All right. I love the theory. And you're like, well, I mean, the song. So, so she just loved being delusional and just taking credit for shit that ain't her. Got my fucking tattoo itching was recorded by Miley Cyrus in 2011 before it was passed off to JoJo Siwa. I don't know why she's acting oblivious to this. I mean, listen, the bottom line is she didn't tell the full truth in her Billboard interview. She never mentioned in this interview that she bought the track or had writers for it. People called her out for it in the comment section, and now she's finally admitting that she didn't write the song, but she's only admitting it because people caught her. She didn't admit it because she wants to give the writers credit, no. It was only because people caught on to her shit. I definitely am not the inventor of gay pop, for sure not, but I do want to be a piece and making it bigger than it already is. When I first signed with Columbia, I said, I want to start a new genre of music. And they said, what do you mean? And I said, well, it's called gay pop. And they were like, what's that? And I was like, it's like K-pop, right? But it's gay pop. My dog likes to bite things. I just want to girl for fun. I can't swim out the bitch. Name one thing that's made you a bad girl. Okay. Okay. I have something that's like kind of bad. You know that she's been waiting for this question the entire interview. Get ready, chat. Okay. That no one would ever know. Until now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And you can actually, you can go back on my TikTok. You scroll all the way down on my TikTok, there's a video I'm wearing an ice cream tracksuit. Uh-huh. This is bad. I shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> no, no. But I, I, I'm eating Jojo Siwa ice cream. Yeah. Out of a Jojo Siwa spoon. And the video is even like, I'm just saying. Pretty cool that I'm eating Jojo Siwa ice cream with a Jojo Siwa spoon. Right. And I'm Jojo Siwa. <laughs> yeah. That video is public footage of uh -huh. my first time being high. Stop. <laughs> and I took an edible. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the high club, gang. Hey, YouTube, don't do Look. Hey man, hi, welcome to the High Off Life Club. If y'all know, y'all know. If not, then shh. But yeah, welcome to the High Off Life Club. Now I ain't gonna lie, I'm trying to stop. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I'm trying to better myself, and y'all might start seeing workout videos like coming real soon for my health. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to look good for the winter. The summer, I'm already looking good, but I'm trying to look even better when it's time for cuddling season, because I'm already knowing. Once cuddling season come, y'all gonna see a lot of videos with familiar, well, an unfamiliar person. That's all I gotta say. Yes, I'm single. Not a... This is a bad story I don't want to go through. Bad girl we'll moment is eating ice cream while high. That's just something I do on a normal Thursday night, bruh. So you documented basically yeah. your first time being high. Yeah. <laughs> eating your own ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> With JoJo Siwa. Yeah. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> like the philosophical thoughts yeah. of that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it wasn't, you shouldn't do edibles at that age, but I was in my own house 
Yeah, it's it legal. Was... Why does this dude kind of remind me of an elf? At the end of the day, this whole JoJo Siwa edgy bad girl phase is just the result of like questionable marketing decisions and questionable dance moves on stage for sure. And also some questionable TikToks. Yeah, back to this again. I don't know if gooning on stage is the move, but I guess that seems to be what she's rolling with at the moment. That's the current aesthetic. Touch yourself on stage. Nice. Wouldn't be surprised if she just throws her clothes off in the next performance. Anyways, let me know what y'all think about this. Is she out of pocket for Yep, that's the end of the video. She's out of pocket. That's nasty. Why would you even do that on stage? Whether it was or was not performed in front of little kids, that's still nasty. Like, what the fuck is your problem? It was, in fact, in front of kids. She even acknowledged that there were kids in the crowd. I'm done. I'm done. I need to bleach my eye. Yes. All right, when, the, all right, when she said transition from a... Uh, star, I don't think this is what she meant. Brother, she went from destroying her, her style to destroying its innocence. Yeah, she's nasty. But anyway, it's your boy OGT Main signing out. You did. Uh, I gotta go throw up. I'm not gonna lie.